Elon uh, got really helped to, you know, even kind of bypass that because obviously the exposure in, in some areas is rather strong, you know, especially in the cities, for example. Yeah. Yeah. So the phenomenon that is witnessed there is a couple fold. So um, the electromagnetic field of the human body that's healthy is huge. We produce so much energy. You know, a cubic centimeter of mitochondria, you know, and, and the mitochondria are packed full inside of our cells. So imagine a cubic centimeter of tissue, you know, a half an inch in a square kind of thing. And in that half inch square, you've got 10,000 times more energy produced than a, a, a cubic centimeter of the surface of the sun. And so what? it is just so much energy produced in the human being or in any multicellular organism, a dog, a cat. And so these multicellular organisms are cranking out massive amounts of light energy in the form of an electromagnetic field. So we are solar events that are very potent at releasing energy. And so the influence of a cell phone on a healthy human body is quite minimal. Okay. What happens, however, is you add glyphosate to the mix and you kill all the microbes, you lose the communication network and you start to slow down the repair. The, the first thing that tends to break down is our barriers. And so when you add glyphosate to a human gut or a dog gut or cattle, you see leaky gut created. And so glyphosate damages the tight junctions, which is the Velcro between each of the, the, the barrier cells. And now you've got leaky gut. Mm. In the seconds of leaky gut, you get leaky brain as the blood brain barrier falls apart, the same tight junctions and the kidney tubules fall apart, same tight junctions. And so you get leaky gut, leaky brain, leaky kidneys, and suddenly the whole body is a sponge for toxin, both brain and everything. And not, not surprisingly, therefore, 1996, we start spraying glyphosate into all of our food, which with genetically modified Roundup Ready crops. By 1998, 2000, we're seeing a sudden steep increase in degenerative neurologic conditions, mm -hmm. autism, uh, Parkinson's in men, uh, Alzheimer's in women, all of them took off at the same time in a diverse global population because we were creating all this fundamental loss of barriers. And when you lose a boundary, you become leaky, you start to overwhelm all of your adaptive repair systems. Certainly the immune system is one, but all of the mechanisms of actual cell repair, the enzymes that go and repair structural proteins, the enzymes that go and make more, more proteins for scaffolding or tight junctions, all of those start to fail. And so when we added glyphosate and 3G, 4G, 5G, you know, technologies on top of it, we were damaging the connections of cells, therefore weakening their resonance frequency. We were also killing mitochondria, remember, because they're bacteria. They're going to die by the same mechanisms that the bacteria in the soils do when glyphosate actually gets inside of our cells. So we're killing microbes in the soil. We're damaging the mitochondria and their ability to make light energy. We're damaging the connection between cells so that all that light energy can't communicate back and forth. And suddenly 5G can become a real toxin that overwhelms our, our resonance frequency of being human. And so I think it's a perfect storm happening right now. And that's made it difficult to study because in a healthy body, carrying a cell phone around seems to do no damage. The scary thing is, is that we have very few healthy bodies walking around anymore. And so most of us are leaking body, brain, kidneys, and we're becoming very vulnerable to these low metabolic, you know, experiences that then are influenced heavily by outside environments. And the sun would be included in that. You know, this, this extreme, you know, dedication to sunscreen and everything else is largely, uh, you know, just like the, 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 the two words that should never go together, which is food allergy. Like yeah. when the heck did the whole world become allergic to the very food that we've always eaten that happened in 1996. And so we developed food allergies and sun sensitivity at the same time that we lost these barriers, lost the immune system, lost the communication. And we start to become vulnerable to our environment. And so when you start to think about extinction of the species, it's going to be the result of our inability to live on earth. Mm. And if you think of like the old Star Trek, you know, enterprise beams, Captain Kirk down to the surface of a planet and he calls back up, you know, Scotty, good news. This planet can support life. We're getting Definitely. a planet that can't support life. We're, we as living organisms are no longer thriving in our environment and we're actually reactive and, you know, vulnerable to our environment. So we have food allergies, we have, you know, all these environmental sensitivities so that we can't breathe the pollen that's been in the human experience for 200,000 years. We can't breathe, you know, 
the dander of naturally occurring insects. We can't, you know, eat, you know, drink the, drink the milk or, you know, whatever it is we've been thriving on, we're losing the ability to, to consume our natural systems because of this breakdown in communication, breakdown in boundaries, low energy vibrations, and we're just generally becoming vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with animals, I mean, one of the most common things that I see, you know, obviously all combined with gut issues is skin issues, like allergies. It's like 90% of my practice is dogs with allergies. And I mean, that's a barrier too. So is that just because of the gut barrier being destroyed or does the, the barrier of the skin um, get affected independently as well? Or what, what's your kind of thought on that? That's exactly right. Yeah. So took us two years to develop the skin product. Um, it's now out on the market as ion skin support. And, um, so that's dealing with a different cell population called keratinocytes that are those cells that are right below your visible skin. And they produce the multi-layer phenomenon of, of, you know, your dermis or your skin layers. And the keratinocytes are slightly different, you know, uh, cell type than what you find in your gut, right? In the gut, um, this, this layer of cells is one layer thick. Um, and that's the gut lining is about half the thickness of a human hair. In contrast, you know, you got about 30 cells stacked up in various levels of desiccation or dryness that then creates the skin layer. And so the skin appears to be more resilient than our gut lining in regards to its ability to tolerate direct sunshine, tolerate dry air, things like that. If our mucous membranes were exposed in the same way to the environment that our skin was, it would, it would fall apart very quickly. It's relatively protected because of the inside of the organism generally. So the keratinocyte is, you know, covered in layers of dead cells, but unfortunately the keratinocyte also, well, fortunately for biology, unfortunately for our toxin environment, they're, they're sensitive to the same chemicals that the gut is. And so when you are showering in your municipal water system or in your well, that's on, you know, an aquifer around farms, you're going to take in that glyphosate and, and deposit it in the skin and the glyphosate will slowly diffuse through the layers of the skin, ultimately damaging the tight junctions of the dermis and you get leaky skin. Mm. The symptoms of leaky skin are, you know, impaired healing. So you see a slowdown in detoxification. Uh, and so what you're seeing in the dogs with all these skin problems, for example, or the cats is they're taking in an enormous amount of toxin and they're trying to expel those toxins out through their different you know, organ systems. So they can breathe out toxin, they can get some of it out in the breath. They can pee out and they can, you know, diffuse some of it in their excrement, their, their feces, but a lot of it diffuses ultimately through their skin. And so they're trying to get rid of toxin. So the toxins are coming out of their bodies and they're rolling around in the grass that's covered in toxin. So they get a very, you know, destroyed layer of, of keratinocyte or, or skin cells. And then they become very prone to chronic dis disorder or dysfunction within that skin layer, which leads to infections, inflammation, you know, a breakdown in the healing process. So you get conditions like mange in, in animals, in humans, it looks like eczema, um, psoriasis, things like that in the humans, uh, the, the mange and other skin conditions out there and the atopic dermatitis that you can see in animals and humans, all of those conditions are, are prone or symptomatic of this increase in toxin, you know, it's exuding from the animal and increased you know, external exposure for the animal and the keratinocytes fall apart. True. The ion skin, similar to what was happening in the gut, it, it helps the tight junctions all come back together. And so you, you put, put the animal on ion pet, you can pour it on their food, you can pour it in their water. They'll consume that over the course of the day, their tight junctions are gut repair. And again, it's not, it's not because the, the compound itself and ion is fixing anything. It's just adding back the communication that allows the cells to know what's gone wrong. The cells with enough communication know exactly what needs to do to repair. Okay. And so you do that in the gut or you can spray, spray the ion skin support on and you'll see that repair process happen. A very poignant example was a dog that was dying of mange that I just encountered last year in Hawaii. And, um, they were going to put the dog down because they had tried everything, steroids, antibiotics, rounds and rounds, nothing helping. The animal was oozing blood out of its whole scalp and back and all of this. There's no fur growing anymore because it was such a damaged dermis on this animal. And we just started them on ion gut and ion uh, sprays. And you very quickly, within days, see the oozing stops, 
the skin starts to repair all that because the skin simply just needed enough communication to overcome the toxic overload. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's exciting when you see a healing event like that happen because it means that the body has healing capacity that's exponentially faster than the breakdown that our, uh, that our toxins have uh, caused. And so on one side, humans are insane. We put toxins into our own food system. We poison our own bodies. We poison our own animals. On the other side, how beautiful is our nature that is so graceful and intelligent that would overcome the most stupid toxic things that we do with its own vitality. The conditions of our environment influence animals' health, including pet parents and their dogs. Find out in this video with Dr. Zach Bush how nature's systems work together and what roles our pets play in it.